My name is John Sorge IV. I am a diamond setter, hand engraver, jewelry designer, and graduate gemologist at my family business, Diamonds Direct in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The majority of my work is done by microscopes, so the types of tools that I use have to be able to work under a microscope. I have various hand tools that are both assisted by electricity or assisted by air. Hand engraving really looks best on 18 karat yellow gold, in my opinion. Platinum also is a wonderful metal to engrave. The majority of my work is done in precious metals, such as silver, gold, platinum. The best kinds of metals to engrave have little to no porosity, like rolled gold or a die struck signet ring. The majority of my hand engraving work that I do is mostly bridal. I engrave patterns on the outsides of bands such as scroll work or plant life. I'll also engrave the inside of the ring with a term of endearment or a special date. I also hand engrave monograms and seal rings. Modern engraving is much different because we are seeing a higher level of precision with microscopes that haven't previously been used in engraving. Technology like an iPad and an Apple Pencil are also changing uh, the way that engravers can lay out their work like in Procreate. When we transfer that design to the metal, we're using acetone or we're using uh, different types of transfer methods. Typically engraving of the side of the ring is done before diamonds are set. What you can see here is me using a sharp carbide graver to give a very short straight cut directly between the prongs to give it that extra flash. The majority of the time I use Chinese white. It's a very thin acrylic paint that I apply directly onto the inside of the ring or on the outside of the ring and I will pencil draw right onto the ring what I'm trying to engrave just as a guide. Sometimes I will engrave a pattern onto a piece of brass or a piece of bronze and I will use that pattern multiple times kind of like a template to follow lines that I've already previously made and I know are accurate. I will use printing block ink and flood the engraving and wipe the surface of it clean. Then you lay a piece of tape directly onto the piece, burnish it very lightly so you lift the ink or whatever your transfer recipe is onto the tape. When you pull that tape up, you will have a perfect replica of the engraved lines that you just made. One of my most popular rings that I make is called a laurel leaf, where I have two leaves that are joined by a single bead of gold, and I florentine finish the leaves to give a nice contrast with a bright cut going down the middle. For my inside ring engraving, I draw directly onto the piece. It took me years to get to the point where I'm at now, where I'm able to just use Chinese white and a pencil to accurately draw different types of calligraphy directly onto the ring. And I jokingly tell new engravers that what they don't realize they're also signing up for becoming an engraver is calligraphy as a hobby. A common mistake for new engravers is that they start engraving too deep. Engraving is a very surface level sort of thing when you're doing letters and numbers. My favorite kind of work is when I can incorporate diamond setting or stone setting with hand engraving together. The most important thing is to make sure that the diamonds aren't going to be damaged by each other if they're touching. When I'm drilling for diamond seats, I want to make sure that it's a very tight fit, that it's going to fit like a glove. So what you're seeing me do here is scribe out the location of where all the diamond culets will go, the very bottom point of the diamond. And after I do that, I follow up with a drill bit and a ball burr to create the diamond seats. After that, I will create a pattern on the side to uh, cut the prongs. And then it's simply placing the stone in, pushing it down gently to set the stone in and then using a beading tool to push small beads of gold onto the crown of the diamond, which sets the stone. Depending on what kind of setting you're making, you could have anywhere from two to three, four, or five, even more beads on each stone. The term pave is French, and it refers to a surface that's paved with stones, such as diamonds or sapphires or rubies. I think one of my favorite projects that I did as an engraver 
was I did a 22 karat Greek Athena signet ring that was of a significance to a customer that spent a significant amount of time in Greece. It's very exciting to be able to create uh, things with your hands and I find that I am I'm really in a career that I don't even feel like I work. I do this because I really genuinely love it.